give you more to prove to you that I'm God. Yes. I will do more. Yes, I will do more. Yes, your greatest regrets will be that you ask God for small. The greatest regrets that you will have in your life will be that I didn't know God will answer me this way. I think there was a, there's a song like that. I didn't know that you will favor me.
They are too big. They can't come down. Can you imagine the Archbishop going to get on the church to preach? It's impossible. They will send 200 people to go and do that. So when God told me that this thing you are doing and you are complaining, the time will come and you will miss it. I was like, ah, me. Any time you call me to get on the train, I will do it. Now, the last time I was with my family in the UK, we were going for shopping. Looking at these children with all the bullies, the mummies sitting down there, all elegant. Take people 20. 
Bless them. If not, on their way going home, they will collapse. Collapse means that they will give up. God is compelled to bless you so that you don't give up on him. You think God is very highly esteemed with your blessing? Think about it. Think about it. God is coming. Hurry up. Take it. Because blessing will let you follow God. Yeah. 
before these people capture the revelation that Jesus is their savior and that when they go to Jesus, people they know how to, they know how to get the heart of God and watch them do crazy things for them. Yeah, the Jewish people. When God made a covenant that these people are my people, be careful. Now that Jesus is available to you, because the Jewish people are paying their back against him, you better hurry up. It's a long queue. It is a queue by color also. If you get there, the God will say, who's that black person? Who's sitting in hell? It looks like he's playing already. You don't have anything to say. So now that you can find the Lord, now that God has made himself available, grab him, make sure he knows you. Before they have, well, that was not my message. So, so my message today is that, as I say, that should I do good or evil? Well, that was a question yesterday. God asked your enemies, and your enemies has received a warning based on your prayers yesterday. And I'm believing that the afternoon prayer to you added. Next time, when the opportunity is created, that you can have prayer in the afternoon, you can have uh, Bible studies. The ones amongst you who spiritually is fit make the call. Yeah. And God will remember you that that day you are the one who, who called everybody, gathered everybody that we should talk about God. And everybody that talks about God, God, God is very happy. If people gather and they say they are talking about Him, He likes it more than the one who takes the remote and put, it, put the TV on. Because that thing you are watching is all is all fake. Is it? No. When you watch a movie, as a matter of fact, this is the truth. Two hours of your life you thrown away. It's just to sustain you. It is you will not get anything out of it, but you just have to come in pains with yourself that I'm going to throw two hours, two hours away. Somebody have taken two years to plan. And you watch it in two hours. And he makes more money on you wasting your time. So we all do it. Amen. I told you that other time that I watched some time that will make me stop watching TV. I get what I'm saying. But then when you get married, all these things will be taken away from you. You look strange in your own family. Amen. Amen. So whatever God is asking you to do now, do it well by the time it's coming. Okay, so Jesus asked them, God asked them, should I do good to these people or to destroy life? Because their heart was evil. Now, today we are diving on verse, verse. I think we'll finish verse 5. Just one verse. And when he had looked round about on them with anger, today too, we are asking the Lord to visit those who are sitting on your blessing. To look at them with anger. Did you hear what I just read? Yes. When he had looked at the people with anger, the pushers who have taken your destiny to Baba Malams, that no matter where you go, you will have to come back and save them. The, the feelings you are getting, it is not you, it is the, the drugs that they took to the Mala before he bought it. That is the thing that is pulling you. It is not like you hate yourself. You are enjoying your sobriety, your peace of mind. You are enjoying it now, but then, 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 it's the, it's the, 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 the charm that is now pulling you. That's why you are getting angry. You are misbehaving. You want, you want somehow, you want to go and taste it again. Because according to today, if you, I remember even this yesterday, I go through as they get, they say, they say, but what if you take all the people who buy our stuff? They're pushing. If we take all the people who buy our food. So the pusher also need you to come back. And their hope was lost. No, like Tali, the most went to you know, Nodi and go. And foreigner and go. Tali, I was like, if we are lying to consider this, Tali, no, I will or that you know why they really know that some of some of the people will go back. From the moment they saw people going back, they said, ah, you know, no, I mean, this is what we are worried about. We thought the people are also 
that they know their sound is working, their dress is working. They know, oh, I mean, oh, I mean, 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 I they are school. They feel not feel not. You see the way it's sweet, you know, your child is growing, he's going to they go to school and everything is going on. So then at that time, they really move on again. You don't think like that for the people's children that spoil it. Okay, of course, of course, you better leave. You know what you have to do? Okay, 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 walk back. When we stop, you know that the, the, the things you are that tags you go give us, they will come and insult you. If we go and hide in your hole, they will, they will. <laughs> if we go deep down, the pusher is saying that apostle. Sure, it's not us. If we stop this thing, this people, they will insult us. They will curse us. They will, they, if we go and hide in the hole, they will dig us out. And say, if this is your money, take it and give me the door. I say, still. Still. Do unto others what you want others to do unto you. Because little do you know, you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are investing all this money into your child. And your child will grow up. And your evil seed of the past will catch up with your child. After all the investment. So it's better you let the junkies insult you today. When they insult you, I bet they will stop. When they insult you, they will stop. When Pastor Mugi stopped drugs, they started pushing him. You should come and sell it. You should come and sell it. He came back and said, I want to go to the ground. All the demons that have been cast out of your life will all gather together and they will hit you. They will hit you and you fall bigger than worse than before. For some of you here, you are still making plans that please are looking good than all the fishes they see. So if I go back there, there is no job. I go free self for the future. Came to tell us when they shot. Do you know how much money I can make in a day? Okay, well, that money. Calculate it and see the problems you will get. Whether you know that money you will be giving in a day, you will be able to solve it. I started pushing him here, pushing him here, pushing him. I just intentionally allow him to preach. While he's preaching, then God is confirming. God is speaking to him. And then he sees. Is enjoying the sweetness of God. Before you realize, hope I don't break it. And when you come again, you might want to go to my children. Oh, that was the one I about, recent one. And this time, from the time he, he, he started working for Chosen, he's been sustained. And now that I, I listen to his preaching at my 11, I'm like, why? The devil is speaking. Like, oh, all this anointing. This guy was going to sit there. Hey, bye, hey, bye, hey, bye, hey, bye. Why do you want to fall into your own mouth? One day, God forbid. May the Lord look with look at your enemies with anger and to warn them that do not touch my anointed. Do my prophet no harm. 
treating us. Whether it be pushers, whether it be ruthless, whether it be alcoholics, whether it be a woman, let us try our time. Look at them. 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 The demons in our family. Look at them. The demons of our family.
They came from your whole previous pastor. They, another day I will, I will teach on it. When they were accusing Jesus Christ, eh? they were accusing Jesus Christ. The Pharisees came and they were accusing Jesus Christ. And Jesus, you know, you, you, you are the one that accusing Jesus. They said, Me. It's not me. Do you know the one who's accusing you? Moses. The one that you say you are saving. The one you say you are following. He is the one that is accusing you before God, even as we speak. It's in your gospel, it's in your Bible. If you do Bible studies, you will see it. So, for them following Moses, Moses is before God, and he says, These are the people who caused me not to make the promised land, God. Curse them! Curse them! They are the ones. These are the seeds. These are the seeds. These Christ, they are the people who confuse the people and the people rebel and I struck the rock. And because of that, God, I didn't step, my feet never stepped into the promised land. And now I'm still a beaten even though I'm in heaven. And so God continued to curse them. So Jesus saw Moses doing this before coming to the earth. He said, it's not me, I'm not cursing you. But Moses, the one that you see you are following. He's the one who is accusing you before God. He's in your gospel. <coughs> Some of these are pastors that you left in there. They have hit a mountain of curses on your head. That boy, he came in. I took him in. I was giving him money. I was doing this for him. I asked him to be the security. And he didn't want to be the security. And because of that, wherever you go, then he sit strong. And so that he can come back to this house. And when he come back to this house, I will use him to preach. Haven't you ever gone from one church? And go back to the church, and the pastor said, That be be a call here. You were in this church, everything was good for you. And I would die. What call? What's up? But the more person won't call, won't call my son, Baba. That was super good in the church. He said, It's a pastoral practice. It's about to commit, and it's about that small offering. It's about that small time. So, when that becomes the main issue, you will not get proper doctrine. I'm telling you that it will be very difficult for somebody to go from this place and go to Bible school. And then the teacher, the lecturer, will not have anything. If you stay here, one year, with this kind of teachings you are getting, this kind of insight you are getting, if you go to Bible school, your teacher, because of you, you still have the whole night instead. If you want to ask me what came when we were going to Trinity, Trinity, I was in the same class with Noah. Trinity, my uncle. My teacher was like, oh, last question. The way of seeing the thing is very different. I was maybe know I was not paying attention, but while we are staying in days in a hurry to close and go to the Vegas, he got scholarship from some church. Me, I'm not paying school fees. So I always wait after the roll call and I'll come into the class, sit at the back. My big wolf will bring me to the front. The things I'll be telling and the contributions I'll be giving will make me move to the front. And finally, I got my school fees. And I was going to pay my school fees. And I said, God, school fees or feeding the people in the area. Buy food for the ministry. When I think about the school fees, I feel like, ah, ah. And then all the money, we went to Agumoshi Market. When they bought big, dairy, big, huge beans, rice, I filled the whole room. I said, God, I will pay you. Now people were coming, we were out about 40 something people in this house. I said, God, I've uh, used the school fees to buy food for the people. But I said, I have no peace. I have no peace. So I kept on going to the school. I said, I will go on to the sacrament. Okay. And you see no other back. The church is one thing. Reverend Pius called me to the office and said, oh, you see that you are not free. Money over there. 
So you wait a while and you will get back to you. That same week, GTV came here and recorded the work I'm doing. Finally called me back to the office. We know that this is a big kind of ministry I'm doing. This is a very delicate ministry. This is a ministry that most, most of us cannot, cannot even dare to go into. We will give you scholarship now. I said, yeah.
Even if they are demons, they will back up. Even Satan himself will say, God, the protection you placed around you has, has prevented me from getting close to God. May God look at the enemies, the ones who are charming you, the ones who are disturbing you. May God look at them with anger. Amen. Yeah. It's in your Bible. Yeah. I didn't make it up. Yeah. And Jesus, for, for the sake of one man in the church, Jesus, after asking him then, is it good? I thought when we are in the church, we are all supposed to be blessed. No, but in the church, some, in some churches, some pastors need people to be in bondage so that they can come to church. Some people, some pastors, when you call them and you are telling them your problem, they are to be late. Continue to pray. God will 